Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video in Ubuntu Basics, a tutorial with the unlikely combination of subjects regarding how to write, which include Robert Sawyer, the science fiction writer, video display editor, a DOS word processor, and how to use the arrow keys. I'm going to open up my keyboard and show a layout, and I'm going to tell you a story. When the computer first got invented, they put a keyboard on it, and when they did that, they were able to invent the word processor, and the early keyboards did not have arrow keys. They did not have alt keys, control keys, function keys. They had the regular typewriter layout, and then one by one they began adding these other keys. But the first word processors did not have arrow keys. Instead, they made use of the word star diamond. And the word star diamond consists of, if you'll, ha you'll have to visualize this, E is the top, X is the bottom, S and D. That makes sort of a diamond shape. And in order to move up a line, you went Control E. And if you wanted to go down a line, control X. If you wanted to go one letter left of where the cursor was, control S. And one letter right, control D. Control F brought you a word right. And control A, a word left. And so on. And the best word processors used this word star command set and many, many people uh, continue to use this. Let me show you an example of that. I'm going to open up Video Display Editor. I've got a prior video that shows how to set up DOSBox to put all these old word processor files and games on. I have got Video Display Editor number one up there. And this was written by Dr. Eric Meyer of Boulder, Colorado, and he teaches the history of science. He originally wrote this program in CPM and then later in DOS, and he wrote it in assembly language. And I'm going to open up the uh, file that uh, comes with it that shows how to use the program. You can get this program free and the VDE doc here. I will open it up as a text file. And all of this seems very imposing if you've been using the graphical user interface. But there's a sentence in here, a paragraph, that says in the reviews and recommendation, this may be the finest piece of word processing code ever written. I have never been Im as impressed with anything as I have with VDE. That was written by John Dvorak. And the uh, program has in it uh, a whole bunch of things that are there are thousands and thousands of commands. But this is all text. And you might wonder why they need so many. And I'm now going to go to John Dvorak, uh, not John Dvorak, but uh, Robert Sawyer's website. And Robert Sawyer's website explains this in great detail why you would want to use this. And I've got it open here. Robert Sawyer is one of the most famous science fiction writers, and he, he is from Canada. And he has an article that he wrote on his website about WordStar. And he explains why all of these famous science fiction writers, whom he knows personally, continue to use the WordStar command set in DOS when they write. They're professional writers. They don't use a mouse. They don't use a graphical screen. And he explains the history of it and how all of this was developed in the 70s. There's the diamond, and there's the enhancement of the diamond, and 
the logic of it and why they had to do this because there were no cursor keys and no function keys no alt key no nothing but a control key at that point and one by one all of the companies abandoned this when they went over to the modern word processors and he explains the modern word processors are not word processors they are desktop publishing programs with graphic capabilities and as an aside almost as an afterthought they also do word processing but if you get used to using this old style uh, diamond pattern you can type extremely fast my name is pop this is ubuntu basics and i thank you very very much